So the project I'm working on today is a cloning bucket. The way this thing works is uh, plants in your garden, after you uh, cut the cuttings off, you can regrow the roots on those cuttings and have a whole new plant. The problem is that roots don't grow if they're wet. Um, so uh, what a lot of people do is they create a bucket like this and uh, how it works is it's a cloning bucket. It, it, it has a timer, uh, 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, and uh, the roots are sprayed wet for the first 30 minutes and then the pump turns off and the roots are dry for the other 30 minutes. This results in faster rooting. Um, inside a week's time you can have roots uh, long enough that you can transplant it back into your garden. Uh, think of what you could do with tomato plants. If you had a, a really nice tomato plant, you could triple it or quadruple it uh, in a reasonable amount of time using a bucket like this. So let me bring you in close and let's look at what's going on under the hood. Okay, so the first thing we want to look at, nice uh, fill, fill, uh, fill up uh, cap so you can add water without uh, taking the lid off. So I'm using these, uh, let me turn off the pump here. So I'm using these uh, hydroponic buckets. Uh, these are three inch buckets and uh, they hold the plant. Um, you usually fill them up with gravel uh, or, or uh, hydroponic grow medium and, uh, and then you use these little neoprene covers and sort of a Pac-Man style. You put the plant inside here with uh, a piece sticking out the bottom. Uh, I think I'm going to cut the, the bottoms of these root beds off because I want them to dangle into the into the bucket. Um, so the so plant goes in here and then goes in here. Then let's, uh, let's take a look at the inside. So this is a standard food grade bucket. Um, so it's got a seal on it that's pretty good. You peel away the back, the sides. So sort of like if you had a pickles, pickle bucket. You know, you know. All right. So inside I've got a submersible pump and some water, of course, and a riser and a sprinkler head. So uh, I bought a long section with a, an adapter here so, the, so I could cut it so that it fit in the bucket. I believe this was uh, 12 inches when I started measuring it. So it's simple screw-in connections. This part screws into the pump and then the uh, sprinkler head screws into it and it uh, sits. Uh, it's got some, some feet that are, that are uh, plunder or yeah, that's what I'll just call it plunder. <laughs> anyway, sits inside the bucket and uh, and sprays the roots of my plants. So the uh, the key to all this, the part that makes everything fly, is my cheap little uh, adapter. Uh, my timer is set uh, in 30 minute increments. Uh, every part that's pulled up is is uh, off. And every part that's pushed down, these are raised and lowered to, uh, if you can see that, probably better see it from the side. So everything that's pulled up is on, everything that's, and, and it's in uh, 24, 30 minute increments, uh, 24 hours a day. So you just run this thing 24 hours a day. Every 30 minutes, the roots get sprayed uh, so that they can stay alive. And for 30 minutes, they dry so that uh, they have a reason to root. It's a really great system. Uh, like I said, inside a week, your cuttings from your tomato plants can grow roots and you can have a second tomato plant. So um, I'll put a list of the uh, things I bought to make this happen in, in the description of this video and we'll uh, and check it out. Uh, give it a shot and uh, it'll help you in your gardening. Until next time.